Can you guys tell what this video is about yet? It's not too obvious, right? <laughs> Hey crafters, welcome back to my channel because I'm crafty. My name's Caitlin and today I'm going to be showing off my very proud Mila dungarees. Um, these turned out so incredibly well. Um, I did struggle a bit along the way, um, but I think that was my own fault, not the pattern's fault. Um, but they turned out so well. I'll show you lots of full shots and everything, um, as well as lots of detail shots because I did do a lot of kind of different things detail wise. But they turned out so amazing and as soon as I see some really nice stretch denim I'm buying it and I'm making another pair with all of my adjustments that I did um, because I just want to live in these now they're so comfy they're so cute um, and these this pair is obviously very springy and coral um, it's looking a little bit darker in my viewfinder I think it's picking up the red on the wall um, but I'll show you when I go outside. My mom's gonna do some uh, filming and pictures for me, so thank you, mom. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's talk about what I changed. So I remember when I printed off the pattern and I was putting it together. I measured the square that's pretty much on all PDF patterns that you measure to make sure that it printed properly. And I went to Staples and printed it, and so. I don't think it printed quite right. Uh, I just went to the self kind of kiosk where you can print it yourself. Uh, but you can't actually go into the file and adjust things, which I've done before and my patterns printed fine, the square looked fine. But I think this one was a little bit off. I think it printed slightly bigger, like it was so slight, like a millimeter or two. Um, but I think, you know, once you kind of add that up going out, um, it uh, it you know it adds up to be quite a bit so I remember taking a mental note of that when I first cut it out and then I never thought about it again so that is my own fault <laughs> um, so I cut out number three which I believe was the size 10 so in reality I think I should have cut out the size 6 or the size 8 um, because it was really wide kind of in the hip area um, so basically I just went along and sewed it up until the point of the buttonholes and it was going really well everything was coming together great um, but that's one of my biggest issues is that I get so focused on finishing the item getting it done like making sure everything's perfect but I don't actually take the time to try on in between steps which is my own fault my own which is my own problem and I should have learned by now because this happens like almost every time I make something that I'm making for the first time especially um, I'm just so excited to finish it and then I like get to the point of you know it almost being completely finished and I try it on and I'm like crap I have to like unpick so many things so but that wasn't the only issue um, and so I think kind of my body shape is the other issue as I mentioned in other videos, if you've been watching me for a while, I have a really short torso. Um, you know, my boobs are here, but my belly button is here. I have like a really short like space here. And so um, any pants that are high rise come up like way over my belly button. And so these were really high. So by the time I had the waistband on, like everything attached, the waistband was like basically right under my boobs which is not where it's supposed to sit. It's supposed to sit like down here at your waist, you know, just a little over your hips. Um, so I ended up taking all of that completely apart, um, mostly because I had to take all of these sides apart with the buttons because I needed to take it in in the leg. So I actually cut one inch off the top of the pants part all around the waist. And then I cut an inch off the bibs, front and back. And that seemed to work out better. And then I re-sewed it with the 5 8 inch seam allowance that it um, has in the pattern. And that seemed to work out much better. Um, the other thing I do want to change still is the strap. Um, I might buy like an adjustment ring to put up here so I can adjust it. Right now I've basically doubled it and sewn it at the back. It just says to try it on see where your strap feels um, comfortable 
and then just kind of top stitch it down so it comes underneath here and through the back and I'm very short like this way also so I've just literally doubled it and stitched it right at the back where it meets you can see there so I do think I need like an extra inch of kind of allowance because it it's pulling up a bit too high in the back um, it looks nice it makes my bum look nice um, but it's just I need like an extra little bit of space in the body um, but that's what the straps are there for so that you have a little bit of leeway to work with so I think I will kind of get some adjustment bars um, just so that I can adjust it and then it's not permanently kind of in place um, I can just kind of put it however I want and what else did I do the pattern called for jean buttons up here and I think the same down on the side as well but I went for some fancy buttons. Um, I'll get some close up better shots so you guys can see. Um, but I just made sure that they could fit through the um, kind of overalls or dungaree um, attachments here. And that worked out fine. I did everything the same with the pockets front and on the butt. Um, and the other thing I used was that metallic thread that I bought at the Creative Festival from the Wonderfill booth. And I showed you that in my Creative Festival haul video and I believe my May Plans kind of sewing video. So I did that for the top stitching across the top, the straps, the butt or the, <laughs> the buttons, the pockets um, on the front and the back. I wanted to go around the waistband also kind of go all the way around um, but it's really thick in there and with the thread it's like a thick um, almost like a jean or denim thread with metallic um, kind of a plasticky thread kind of in throughout it and so going through those thick parts would just make that snap and then you've kind of just broken your thread and you can't keep going properly it gets jammed in the machine and it's it's kind of messy that's the thing with the metallic threads, they're not very strong um, in, terms of, in terms of that little plastic kind of piece that's kind of woven throughout it that's the actual like sparkly part. Um, so I didn't do that, although I still really want to, but I don't think that my machine is going to do it very nicely um, and I just don't think it's going to turn out very well. So I didn't do that part. Um, I did hem it quite a bit as well, but again, I'm pretty short. Um, I am mostly legs but I am pretty short as well. I just did like a small kind of half inch double fold and I think that was it really. I did take it in a bit in the crotch and the inner leg um, when I was taking it in um, just so that kind of the grain stayed a bit even. I don't know. I really love this pattern. Um, I love how it turned out. I love everything that I chose to do with it. The metallic thread, the different buttons. Um, just the fabric in general this is kind of like a stretch cotton type material there's there's definitely some poly in it it's a mix of some sort and um, I just got it from fabric Land in the clearance section for four dollars a meter and thankfully I bought enough because at the time I didn't have a plan for it I just seen it and I liked it because um, I've bought um, it before in black and so when I seen the coral I thought it was really pretty so I don't know. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you were thinking of buying the Mila Dungaree pattern, please go and buy it now. Um, I think I bought it when she was having a sale a little while ago and it was totally, totally worth it. Um, just next time I will go back and adjust the pattern a bit for my short torso and the width in the legs. I think I'm just going to cut it down to the size one and then take that inch off of the kind of body here in the bib and the pants and then I think it will fit me perfectly next time I cut it out. So I hope you guys enjoy my Mila Dunkarees and head over to Instagram to see some more pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I'll see you next time crafters. Bye!